Hello, and welcome to The Mustache Show. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I sharpen my pencils, and I wanna give you some reasons why afterwards. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pencil. Preferably a dull one would be better, but uh, this one will work just fine. Uh, an X-Acto knife like this, probably an X-Acto knife number one or number two. I believe the number two has a slightly thicker blade. Um, I typically like using number two because it has a thicker blade, but also um, some people will suggest to use a actual razor blade. I don't like using that. I'd rather have an actual razor blade like this. I mean, a, an X-Acto knife as opposed to a razor blade because the X-Acto knife is a little bit more precise and a little safer than using a razor blade, just a by itself razor blade. And you're gonna need some, some uh, sandpaper. Now, the grit of the sandpaper doesn't really matter, but I would say this one that I use right here is like 225. A, uh, a fine grit or extra fine grit will be fine. Will, will be fine, 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 right? But um, I would veer away from using anything that's uh, coarse. Uh, you want something that's fine, a fine grit sandpaper that will allow you to sharpen the tip of your drawing utensil. Okay, so how you want to start this out is you want to take your pencil like this, you want to get your X-Acto knife, and hold it like you're going to be, um, for, any, for anyone that has a knife or, you know, got a stick and a knife and they like to whittle, right? You're whittling around, you make, you're basically like, you're making a, 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 a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, steak, essentially. Um, so you're going to want to hold your X-Acto knife like so. Make sure it's, you know, you're holding tight and snugly and you want to have your pencil kind of like this. And you're going to want to go down. Uh, it, could, it, it depends. Some people go down all the way, make a really long tip. I don't typically do that. You're going to want to go down, you know, about an inch, inch and a half. And then you're going to want to press your thumb about while you, when you're an inch, inch and a half from the paper or from the, the uh, pencil. And you want to push in at like roughly 25 degrees. And what you're going to be doing is you're basically going to be whittling down to the graphite stem of your pencil. And you're just going to be whittling around like so. Notice how I'm pressing against the blade. I'm doing that um, for control and for uh, some level of safety. Um, I don't typically do this because, well, if you're first starting out and you do this, be aware that you could hurt yourself. So that's why you want to kind of slowly wedge or push, apply pressure to the wood and allow the blade to do a lot of the work as you're pushing forward away from yourself. Always use the blade um, in a fashion that goes away from you. Don't have it go towards you, okay? Always away, all right? So you're gonna keep applying, pushing away. And as you can see, you're getting to that point where you're, you're kind of, filing down and you're getting closer and closer to the the uh, graphite stem here this is when you want to keep kind of dialing down or uh, changing the angle slightly um, changing the degree of your exacto knife until you're able to basically only kind of shave off small areas you want to do that because if you're first doing this and you apply at a sharper angle um, you will probably break the stem of your, your pencil there, right? And so just kind of keep applying this and keep shaving. And then um, make sure that you are using very little like force on the pencil itself. So notice how I'm, I'm kind of slowly whittling away at it. The reason why I'm doing, I, I'm, I'm not, notice how I stopped applying pressure is because if I started applying pressure, I could have the chance of breaking this graphite stem. And you want to avoid that at all costs. You don't want to have to resharpen your pencil, right? You want to avoid that at all costs. So now what I'm doing is simply just kind of applying a, a little bit of pressure while I'm kind of shaving it, all right? And I'm going down further than uh, I said, which was about an inch or so, because I want to have a little bit more stem, all right? So I'm going to have a little bit more stem. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm even gonna start back up and kind of go around again. And then I'm gonna, so I can have a, a, a longer stem 
on my pencil here, right? You can see, so so this is probably the limit, the length that I like it at. Not maybe even um, maybe uh, this is a little long for me. Uh, I'd probably be a little bit shorter than this, but I felt that it was too short. So as you can see, you have basically you've exposed the the graphite jacket, gra graphite stem, and now you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're going to let's let's sweep. Let's do a little bit of sweeping here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna want to put your exacto knife in a safe place. For me, I have a little wine bottle as a cap. Uh, when you buy an exacto knife, what happens? You you can you'll get like some of them come with the, the plastic cap. Uh, I think I may have had a plastic cap at this at one point or another, and I just lost it. So I use this as as a way to kind of protect myself and protect the blade. Works pretty well. So now what you want to do is you have your your fine grit sandpaper. As you can see, I've already been using this for some time, and you're basically going to be sanding an edge to your uh, pencil lead, pencil gra um, your graphite pencil here. And you're gonna basically make a very long point, you know? So notice that the the, 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 the the angle of this point is like this. We're gonna just basically make it a sharp point all throughout. And you're gonna do the same thing like before. When you're filing, you're gonna be spinning around your hand. You're gonna be moving your, your thumb in a twirling fashion as you're moving, you're sanding it. So you're gonna be, kind of holding it like this. This is how hot, how I hold it. Some people will hold it a little differently. And you're gonna basically be kind of grinding away excess graphite, um, like so. Wow, my my, uh, <laughs> my uh, phone here is just like shaking. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this the next, next video. But uh, this one's just shaking. Actually, we're just gonna hold it up in the air so I don't have any anything shaking. So, as you can see, what I also like, one good thing about holding, um, okay, so some people will apply the, the, the sandpaper to like a piece of wood for a rigid uh, backing. What I will do is I will hold it because sometimes I like to kind of cup it and curve it a little bit. And I feel like that allows you to, to create uh, a better, I believe it, it feels like I can shape it a little bit better. Uh, that may just me, me be like blowing steam or personal preference, but like I think have, allowing to bend it a little bit creates for um, better angles or a, 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 a much nicer tip because I'm able to round it out a little bit more. So as you can see, I'm just kind of, so you're gonna be shaving off, look at all that graphite there. You're gonna be shaving off a lot of the pencil here. Now, this is all personal preference on how much of a, of a transitional tip you want, of an angle tip, angle tip that you want, but um, it depends on person person to person. Some people like to have a really long uh, angle. And um, me personally, I, I don't not care so much, but I'm just gonna kind of file it down, give you an example where you, where, you, where you can go with it. So you just gotta take your time with it and keep the angle of your, your pencil very shallow. You know, you're not really doing a, a deep, a deep angle here. You're not getting a, otherwise you're gonna dull out your pencil here. So I think I got it to where I want it to be. Here we go, just keep, keep spinning it around. It's almost like you're, you ever see those uh, videos of people, look at that, I made a nice little, videos of people, um, what's it called, like, where they basically are in a, um, they're, putting a giant glass mass into a, a kiln and they're spinning the the glass and heating all of it all at once or trying to get uh, equal heat, equidistant or equal heat applied to the entire surface so it starts 
melting. That's what you want to kind of do here is you want to kind of apply equal amounts of, of sanding around the entire thing. So let's see here, look, use your finger to kind of clean it up. Although look, being an artist is a messy business, bro. Okay, so look at that. So you want something like this, although right here it's kind of, you can see like it's kind of weird. Um, it's the angle's not as good, but um, this will be great. I think this will do just fine. Now, a few reasons why I do the pencil like this. Well, this is a short, long story short is I, I remember I was, I, I remember I was in college and there was this guy given a, a demo and I saw him ha draw, start drawing the figure with a pencil like this. And I was like, what the heck is this guy doing? Why is he holding the pencil like that? That's the weirdest thing ever. And after I saw him give a demo with that, I was like, wow, that's amazing. I think I'm gonna start sharpening my pencils like that. And so I started sharpening my pencils like that without knowing the reasons why. And after using it for uh, drawing with this for quite some time, I realized why the, the utility of having a pencil like this. One, the, the for, one of the first reasons why it's good is it, it allows you uh, to be very sensitive to uh, applying pencil pressure. Um, when you're first starting out, when you're first starting out, a lot of people will, will apply a lot of pressure on their, on their drawing, and then they're not able to re remove that later on. And if you apply a lot of pressure with this pencil, you're going to snap the, the, snap the graphite. So that's one of the things, uh, one of the ways that you can mitigate and become better at, at pressure sensitivity and line quality is because this pencil will break and you'll have to resharpen it all over again. So it, it forces you to have a lighter touch, which in drawing is a very, is a net good. So you want to have a lighter touch and this will help you with that. Another reason why, second reason why, is it allows you to go from a fine tip to a wider, so you really can't see here, but you can go from a, a, a fine tip line, right, to a wider, making wider marks. Let's uh, let's move out, move this out of the way real, real quick to give you an idea. So, put that paper on the ground here. So what you can do is, you can go from a, 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 a precision mark to a value adding mark, allowing you to apply value in larger, areas than if you were to use the tip of a pencil. For those that have used pencil in the past, you notice that when if you want to make a large area dark with a pencil, it's going to take a lot of marks because your pencil tip is about this big, right? And what I notice is that when you do, uh, what you can do from there is you can use that, use this, this wider area to apply more value quicker. And what also what this does also is it allows you to um, I forgot it allows you to um, to uh, uh, it kind of sharpens it kind of sharpens the pencil right so it does two things so now that you're able to do a fine tip point or fine line mark with your pencil and you decide oh well, I want to add some value to my drawing so you start adding value to your drawing yada 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 fun 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 good times yay. What it does is doing that motion basically resharpens the pencil again. So it extends the life of the, of the pencil. So the third thing, that third reason why I do uh, use a pencil like this is it extends the life of the pencil or the life of the pencil stay, stays, uh, the, the, the life of the pencil lasts longer than if you had a regular tipped pencil. So if you had a regular tipped pencil, this thing would would go away or would wear out really quickly. But when you have a pencil like this and you're making like marks like this and you're going and you're making value marks like this and you're constantly dulling and resharpening the, the pencil back and forth, back and forth, the life of the pencil lasts longer. So three reasons why I do this. Reason one is I, uh, it, it uh, allows you Uh, allows for um, better control slash 
pressure sensitivity. Sensi sensitivity. And number two, it allows you to add value quickly. And number three, it extends the life of the pencil. So those are the three reasons why I, let's move this into center, why I um, sharpen my pencil like this. Again, allows for better pressure, press, allows for better pressure sensitivity and control of the pencil, right? You can, you can go from soft edges to hard edges, soft edges, hard edges, so, uh, hard edges, soft edges. It allows for you to add quick, uh, to quickly add value, large areas quicker. Now imagine if you had to make a value tone, tone like this, but with the tip of your pencil, you're gonna be doing something like this. You know, it's gonna take a lot longer and it extends the life of the pencil. So those are uh, three reasons why I sharpen my pencil like this and also a how-to, a how-to on sharpening this your pencil. So hopefully this is informative and hopefully you uh, will pick up this habit of sharpening your pencil so that you have uh, a, you know, a, a, like a medley, a plethora, a plethora of sorts of pencils that are sharpened like this. Again, as you can see, they last longer and they just, uh, at the very least, you look, you can look really cool with a, a, a pencil that has a tip like this. And you're, if you're drawing out in public, people are like, what is wrong with their pencil? Why does it have all the graphite exposed like this? Anyways, uh, that is it for the mustache show. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and comment and like. I will see you on another video. Thank you so much. Cheers.